Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, we are going to discuss the theory of liquidity preference. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, SPSS and R Studio. Let's begin with the introduction. This theory is related to the determination of rate of interest and it is propounded by John Bernard Keynes. Now, liquidity preference means demand for money taken into account as liquidity. So it, it shows the quantity of money people wish to hold as liquid. So rate of interest is reward for parting with liquid for specific period. And according to Keynes, rate of interest is purely monetary phenomenon. So the determination of rate of interest depends on the demand for money and supply of money. Now let's understand the idea of supply of money. Supply of money is the total quantity of money in the country. And it is assumed to be exogenous. So we know that it is determined by the central bank and it is determined outside the system. And in the short run, it is constant. Now, what is demand for money? People demand for money because it is perfectly liquid asset. So there are three motives. Transaction motive of demand for money, precautionary motive of demand for money, and speculative motive of demand for money. Now, transaction motive and precautionary motive of demand for money depend on income and it is constant in the short run. On the other hand, speculative motive of demand for money depends on the rate of interest. And according to Keynes, there is inverse relationship between speculative demand for money and rate of interest. And therefore, we are getting downward sloping demand for money curve. So higher the rate of interest, more expensive to hold money. See this diagram. On x-axis, we have quantity of money. On y-axis, we have rate of interest. And this is our demand curve for money. Now, what is liquidity trap? The speculative demand for money becomes perfectly interest rate elastic. See the horizontal part. So here, everyone holds money instead of investing or spending it. So rate of interest is either zero or it is near to zero. See the horizontal part of the uh, demand for money curve. So therefore, monetary policy becomes ineffective. Now, how rate of interest is determined in the market? So it is determined by the demand for money and supply of money. So this is uh, demand for money curve. For simplicity, we are not considering the horizontal part. And here we have the supply of money curve. It is vertical because in the short run, it is constant. E is the intersection point at which rate of interest is determined. So the equilibrium rate of interest is OR1. And at this rate of interest, demand for money and supply of money are equal in the money market. And therefore, E is our equilibrium point. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. Thank you.